Yeah, my family uh, moved here when I was uh, probably four, I guess, um, between four and five. Um, I remember um, starting uh, grammar school, elementary school at uh, Ackworth. Um, and we were close enough at that point where um, either mom could walk me to school or whatever. We uh, lived in three different houses uh, within walking distance of, uh, of Ackworth Elementary. Uh, during, I guess it was a high school, it was just a school then, it had a high school too. But mm -hmm. uh, um, so we were pretty much uh, entrenched in the area kind of a, around the school. My dad, uh, he was a body mechanic, uh, actually went up to Michigan and worked um, in one of the auto plants for a while. And then uh, I think he got a job uh, at Lockheed uh, and that kind of brought him down here. So I uh, started school when I was like five years old. So it was kind of just turned, I was going to be six, I guess, the next month. And um, what I think was so neat about it then was one being able to kind of walk to school uh, and everybody else kind of lived in that area. All the people that I went to school with, uh, all the kids uh, were pretty much around that area uh, and developed a lot of really good friendships that, uh, you know, we still enjoy today. And during the, you know, during the summer, we would go down at the flats again and um, I was too young to play or hit or whatever, so the teams would have me pitch for both sides. So all I did was just pitch um, and, and developed a pretty good arm, I guess, when I was younger and um, just loved baseball. And that's actually what I thought I would like to do, um, be playing baseball professionally. Mm -hmm. and, uh, didn't work out because it didn't grow that much and uh, my career I'm sure would have been very short if it had been the direction I went but uh, played baseball in high school uh, North Cobb didn't have a baseball team until my senior year <clears throat> so football basketball were the only other sports I guess available coach Sewell who was the assistant football coach uh, and actually was the golf coach uh, too he kept asking me to play golf or asked me to come out for the golf team I said yeah it's a sissy sport I'm not gonna play <laughs> golf and uh, he may have known a lot more about what my talent might have been than I did at that time but um, I didn't didn't start playing until actually I got back uh, you know from Vietnam when I was in the Army, when I was in basic training, I, one of my friends um, actually played golf for Miami Day Junior College. And up to that point, I didn't know that much about golf. And I'd seen some of it on television, I guess, but, and some of the, knew some of the golf team at high school at North Cobb, but didn't play, didn't know that much about it. But he just really loved it, talked about it all the time. So when I had all this time, um, and when I just had one subject left at uh, KSU to finish, um, I said, well, maybe I'll just give golf a try. And started in that spring, uh, March, uh, and played there at Pine Tree Country Club. And they had a really kind of a, a junior membership that was really pretty affordable. And so I joined as a junior member and spent all my time there basically until um, my wife got home every day. And, uh, but that fall, uh, the assistant professional job opened up. And so I had a choice of either working there at Pine Tree Country Club as an assistant or going to uh, Georgia Tech. Uh, and I said, well, I'll just, you know, I'll put Georgia Tech on hold for a little bit and just see kind of how this goes. And mm -hmm. uh, ended up working for, working for Burt Grace for two years there at Pine Tree. Um, and then a year later qualified for the tour. Yeah, that was really, nobody in my family had ever played golf, so we had no clue what we were getting into. We were um, just, when you say rookie, we were the rookie. Um, I mean, most of the guys I played with on the mini tours in Tampa during that year before I qualified, I mean, some of them were um, nationally recognized uh, college players and had tried to play professionally before, lost their card. So I'm playing with guys who have been playing professionally or wanting to for years and years and years. And here I was, it was all new to me. It took me 10 years, I think, really. Even playing professionally probably took uh, five years before I felt like that, um, you know, I maybe could do this for a living. I never dreamed 
that um, I would have won the U.S. Open or the PGA twice or uh, you know become a Hall of Fame golfer. You know, I uh, it was funny because we used to have a theater here when I was growing up. My family would walk up to the theater uh, in downtown Ackworth. Um, we used to have a hotel on the corner that uh, you know my family would go eat Sunday brunch or something at, in the, the bottom of the hotel. Mm -hmm. um, the hardware store where uh, my friend's father owned, uh, the feed store, hardware store. A lot of those things change, uh, you know, just with years. But uh, it, Ackworth has kind of been able to keep, um, I think, a little bit of what it had for the years that we were growing up. Um, and I, I'm amazed at the, at the number of people who are concerned about um, keeping uh, Ackworth and, and, and the history. And um, it's just very impressive to me. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of it has to do with how great this place was growing up. And um, so I think it's meant a lot to them and I think they wanted to pass it on.